go to the tools in Illustrator and select ellipse or any of the other ones as well, any other shape, maybe a line. Well, I've got here a circle. Well, this circle just created one without a fill, but here a stroke of black and 100 points. Now, also you see at the side, you've got the variable width profile. Variable width profiles, I'm gonna just show you, but it's all over the place in Illustrator. You can click on stroke and you can see it here. If you go to the window menu and you can down here to properties, you can see it there as well. Also stroke there down the bottom. And also if you click down the bottom appearance, so click there and you can see stroke there. And again, you've got profile. So it's everywhere. It's all over. So you really should be able to find it quite easily. However, what is it? Well, you can click there and what you can see, you can just click there and click there. And you, as you do that, it will change the stroke. The top one is the uniform one. So you can see it's just 100 all the way around. However, if you click there, you've got that one. As you hover around, you've got that lovely, that point there. It's probably best to show it here with that just the line. You can see it matches exactly there. If I go and click there, you can see the design matches that. That's what it does. It just changes the stroke and it will just vary according to this profile. However, you will notice that this has only got six, which is not many. It would be nice if it was a few more. Well, what you can do, you can modify this. So select there, and now with that, go down here, width tool. You can find the width tool just down here. It's just above the warp tool, as well as 12. Not so I put it there, but that's where it is, width tool. And now you can modify it. The best starting point is probably uniform. Just go to uniform and then do that. And as you hover around there, you will see a little dot. So you go backwards and forwards, you see a little dot there. And you also see the information. It tells you it's 50 and 50, and the width is 100, which is, of course, what it is all the way around. But you can click on that and then drag, drag outwards or in. So if you drag out, obviously make it bigger, drag in, and you can create a variety of different, so I'm just gonna to go to another place, do that, and you can go anywhere around this. And you can do that, just drag that out, drag that out, and so on. So you can create all kinds of unique shapes. But what you can also do is you can go to this, let's just go here, create a new one. Just drag there. You can see as you drag out, you've got 102, 205, 118, etc. Now what you can also do is hold down the Alter Option key. So if you hold it, and that's on the keyboard, so hold that down and hover over this one here. And what you can do, you can move that one independent of this one. And you can do that one as well. So you can just change it so you can get different settings. And you can see as you hover there, it's 91.2 and 28.53. So they're different sizes, which makes very lots of different variations in your design. You can also move these. So you can move these back and forth. However, you will hit a certain point where it won't let you move. It will just stop. It will, literally, that is it. It's a freeze point where it just will stop. Create a straight line. And you can go anywhere look down here and move that one and it will get to a certain point and it will stop. Again, stop there. Click there and you can see you can go around and create all kinds of unique designs, but there are limitations. And you can modify that again. However, let's just go and now, of course, you're thinking, well, how to save this design? Because obviously you've created this design, which is really great. An absolutely lovely uh, width profile design and you can see it up here, which is really quite nice. Well, you can click there and there's an option here. Add to profiles. And you can just add to profiles and you can give it a name. My profile. Click OK. And that's it, it's done. So you've got it saved very nicely there. And of course you could develop many other profiles. It doesn't matter on the color, doesn't matter any, lots of other things can be set. This profile can be used now in other places. So let's just create a line, very basic line. And again, start set uniform. Let's just set the stroke width so you can see it much better. Doesn't matter about the stroke width. The initial point, you can just set it to that. Makes it easy to see and then go through there and you can see as you do that. And then you go down to that one and you can see your line there. And that's the design. Obviously, instead of being on a circle, it's now applied here. It's really useful. Now, you can do a lot more complex things. You've got options here like window and appearance. And you'll notice in the appearance panel, there's an option here for stroke, but on the right side, 
you've got an option for add new stroke. And adding a new stroke means you can add multiple width profiles to the same this same line, which is super useful because you can then create designs with say like different colors, different stroke widths, as well as different designs here and the width profile. And you can create a variety of different designs, all that can be edited using this width tool here. Width tool, shift plus W. That's the way to access it very quickly. So that's it, width profile. And you can create a whole variety of amazing designs. Now there's certain points, obviously at a certain point, it will not let you do it. So you can change things. I'm certain there's limits. However, of course, another thing, you got this design, you think, well, great, got this design. What about how to convert it into a normal line? Because obviously I don't want this now, I want this as a normal line. Well, what you need to do, object and down to expand appearance. That's what you need to do. Just go down to object menu, expand appearance. And as you do that, then you've expanded it. Now what you can do, you can manipulate it obviously, and you can see now in the appearance panel, you've got here stroke has got nothing. Now you can set that to say red. Let's just set that to red so you can see it and set that to seven or 16 say. So you've got your design there and you can see up there, exactly the same. And you can do exactly the same as before. What you can do, you can now select that. So you can now apply that width profile to this design or this width profile and so on and so on. And also again, you can still modify it down here in the profile. So it's really useful. Profiles are really great for all kinds of different designs. And you can, of course, not just lines, but again, any shape. So if you've got, say, let's just go for a star tool, star tool there, Again, go up here, your profile you created earlier, obviously you can't see it because it's too small, but say set there and you can see it red. Not perhaps the greatest design for a star, but that can be used there as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.